Hello everybody, welcome to the mess. <laughs> I, uh, I started playing around a little more with this and set this up a little, a little more solid, it gave the blades a little more, or uh, a little less clearance I should say. Still only working with two blades. Um, I'm going to put water in here and do something I saw Black Chisel do, um, which is he used, actually he was using a DC current, I think he was using a Krokoff Walton and uh, and just using a DC current to just actually make a, a container of water spin. There is no aluminum. It, his conductor was water in a glass in a glass container. But uh, I think if I, if I sealed up the bottom there, um, hopefully decently, I, I don't have any like little rubber washers or, 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 or anything like that. But uh, I, if I put water in here, it, it'll make a little more mass and then, um, I don't know how true I have the axle through the middle, but this is just a simple magnetic bearing setup right now. So, um, anyways, here we go. Also, uh, Coltis suggested I put a, 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 a little marker on there, so, and, uh, which is probably a pretty good suggestion. And uh, I set this up a little more solid so, it's, uh, so I don't have to hold it, so I can have a hand free. All right, here we go. Also, I gotta get my little insulated uh, insulated stick I should say yeah that's why I need it so I need the spark gap going the spark, my spark gap's getting corroded I gotta I, I bought some spark plugs I'm gonna um, make a much better spark gap but for right now this is this will do me oh, you already see it's taking off Look at her go. Okay, hold on. Getting some breakout in my primary again.
got no mass to it, so it wouldn't be a whole lot of torque. You know, it's just like a lid motor design. That's, <laughs> that's what I call it, it, since it is bottle and lid. But uh, it gets up there. Got to do some torque tests, and um, I'm, I'm going to order some of the bearings that Laser Saber suggested, the ceramic ones. I just haven't had the money. They're like 20 bucks just for two of them. Um, and, uh, and also do some more experiments as far as uh, putting a, a, making the rotor have water in it uh, for a little more mass, and then experimenting with uh, different salts for uh, conductivity or less conductivity. It might just be on the surface area of this rotor through the dielectric trying to get to that, trying to make that connection, the conductor, but, uh, but yeah, actually I think the first thing I should do is make two more blades and try, and try that out, hopefully won't, they won't jump to each other, that's my only worry, but as long as I have uh, just a nice um, distance from the Tesla coil, I'll be fine, and I, and actually, you know, I, you can set this up to where instead of getting from the top load, you could get it from the ground and set the top load, you know, into ground or hopefully have atmospheric electricity from the top of the Tesla coil, in which case you would, you know, shoot it some 300 feet up in the air, you'd have a big, big apparatus, and, um, and, uh, and then also you could, and this is what I've been thinking about for a while, actually I saw, it sounds weird, but I saw this in a dream, I woke up in the middle of the night, and I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since then, but actually, um, if you were to take uh, a boundary layer system and you reverse to where you make the rotor on the outside and put the uh, the conductive material on the outside and then have a nice strong dielectric like this on the inside and you have um, and you have uh, blades on the inside like the boundary layer effect you could essentially not only get atmospheric electricity but you could also pump in geothermal steam power stuff like that by having the boundary layer effect um, and of course there's little corks that you know, you gotta. Work, I'd have to work out, but I've been thinking about it. I've been doing some drawings and stuff like that, but um, I can't stop thinking about it. So that's so. I really like to do is start messing around with that. But I've I haven't made a. I, I have these hard drive platters. I was thinking about making a boundary layer Tesla turbine, but I would really like uh, the newer style. Um, you know, the add-ons people have been doing with uh, the golden ratio Fibonacci style Fibonacci sequence. Or, uh, yeah, it's basically the golden mean, golden ratio um, Nautilus design for the for the turbines because I think that uh, it's a, it's an implosion type of thing and it would be more um, it would help direct the water or steam or air depending on whatever you want to feed it into. But if you were to feed like ocean water into it and you have this atmospheric electricity also coming into it, um, you you would essentially well I don't know it's all speculation. Uh, all theory. So, but just I figured I'd mention it. Maybe somebody do do another experiment along those lines, or maybe it's just down to me. But uh, but yeah, this is what I've been working on, and uh, appreciate advice. Or if anybody has any suggestions, and they want me to try to do something, uh, I'll uh, I'll make do with what I have and try to improve on it. I actually started with this guy, but uh, and this was going to be my my uh, my testing unit but uh, I didn't have them I don't have the money for the bearings and uh, I actually bought these really cheap bearings from uh, a hobby store but they are just they're terrible I put some uh, graph graphite lubricant in it and everything and they're just terrible they don't uh, they don't spin very easy at all so um, so I took I totally ganked one of my kids uh, connect toys <laughs> and put this together and um, and I was gonna um, make this be my rotor right here, and put the put the aluminum in there. So uh, I'm still I'm gonna try to do that, but uh, you know I I gotta get the proper materials for it, and also I I want to get uh, making blades by hand like I did with this. They're kind of shoddy. They're not really. I don't. I I need more precision. You know I took the time to measure these all out and everything. I still they're still just not as nice as I'd like them, but. Um, but yeah, once again, thank you everybody for watching, and uh, hit me up with some comments or whatever. Adios. Alright, one little, this is a little sideways test.
kind of close, so I'll probably get some, some marks over, but it'll look cool. Too bad. Shoddy workmanship, but you know, it's just little demos. And what's funny is every time I shut it off, I get a back feed. It's really, uh, I don't know why it keeps doing that. It's kind of strange. Um, I have some theories, but uh, also, if these blades need to be locked in really good, because if they're not, the the Coulomb force acts like magnetism. And uh, and sticks to it. I don't know if you've ever had it's like a balloon sticking to your head. Same principle. And uh, um, I also have a whole bunch of theories on that too. But <laughs> if anybody wants to talk about theoretical stuff, go ahead and hit me up. But again, thanks for watching. I just figured I'd add that on a little sideways shot. Maybe get some uh, Corona motor action where you could actually see the uh, the uh, Corona spinning around it. Um, and yeah. Thank you.